All right, so here's the deal. My, the, my super simple, never before revealed cranberry sauce recipe. First of all, start with the world's best cranberries. I happen to like the Weatherby brand from Wisconsin. They're unbelievable. I buy pounds and pounds and pounds and freeze them so I can use them all winter long because I like cranberry sauce. Uh, for every pound of berries, I use a cup of sugar and uh, two, two and a half cups of orange juice. In this case, the oranges that I've been buying lately have been a little too tart, but these mandarins are super sweet. So I'm gonna juice them, I'm gonna combine them. Uh, sometimes I throw in a cinnamon stick, sometimes I throw in some star anise, uh, but uh, sometimes a cardamom bub, a bud, bub, bud. But in general, I just simmer them. You hear the cranberries pop, and that's when you start to think about turning off the heat. So I also add the zest of two oranges and the zest and juice of a lemon. The more citrus, to me, the better your cranberry sauce is gonna be. So I also add about a tablespoon of grated fresh ginger. You can see my lemon zest and my orange zest is already in there. And I just grate this on a microplane so it just melts right into those cranberries. So those lemons and the oranges, two cups. And that goes right there. Because I like mine nice and thick and I don't cook it too much. That's the key. You just want to hear that popping sound. Let it go for, I don't know, another three, four, five minutes to make sure that the majority of them have burst and then just turn it off. The ambient heat will do the rest of the work for you. So let's get that on the stove. Hear that noise? They're starting to simmer and you can hear the cranberries pop. I've been listening to it for a couple minutes now. You'll hear one. Hear that noise? They're starting to simmer and you can hear the cranberries pop. I've been listening to it for a couple minutes now. You'll hear one. Oh, there went a couple. They just pop, pop, pop. It's just, mm. and just let that simmer away for about 20, 25 minutes and turn it off. So after, I don't know, 20 minutes and a nice simmer, it looks like this. Underneath there, the majority of the cranberries have burst. Closer to the bottom, they're liquidized. Uh, obviously, the ones floating on top are left whole. The more you stir it, the more you, they break up. So I just kind of leave them as is. And uh, all I'm going to do, is essentially, is just turn off the heat and just let them cool in that pot until I just put them in containers in my refrigerator or freezer. And it's that simple. I'll check back in with you guys one last time to show you what the finished product is like. All right, well, it cooled. What's going on with my beard? Yes, Luca. And this, my friends, is pretty amazing cranberry sauce.
Mm. And why do I make it in such big batches and freeze it in small containers? Because I serve it with grilled pork chops, grilled venison, grilled meats of any kind, poultry of any kind, roast duck, goose, chicken, all winter long. Enjoy. <laughs>